Welcome in the exam is flexible program. This is the program which helps you to understand various fundamentals of economic. We understand various concepts of economics in the past uh, in the another lectures also. Today we are going to understand the various types of money in detail. We understand the types and the functions of money in detail. Today we are understanding the types of money. It will help you to the good beginnings of the understanding of various fundamentals of economics. This lecture helps you to understand the money, what is money, types of money and the attributes of good money. Let's first understand what is money. Money is anything that, uh, money is anything that can uh, have general, accept, uh, general acceptability in the economy and which is a mode of payment for goods and services. We are going into the, into the market and we buy uh, any goods or services and we are paying something that is called money. In the simple term, it is treated as a medium of exchange. Anything that can be paid in, in the exchange of goods or services which we buy, that is known as money. We understand the money and its function in another lecture. So, uh, so uh, search, uh, so understand, so learn that lecture. Understand that it will clear your concept very well. This is about the types of money. We are understanding today the various types of money. There are five types of money. Uh, very basically, the first one is the animal money. Second is the commodity money. Third is the metallic money. Fourth is the paper money and fifth is the credit money. Let's understand these in very detail, each one of them. The first is the animal money. You thought that, uh, is there animal money? Yeah, there is a, a existence of the animal money. We don't know about that because we don't have, uh, we are using uh, debit and ATM, we are using debit and credit card in this era. But there is also existence of the animal money. The news about animal money. Animal money is the we have cows, buffaloes, various cattle that are treated as money. If, uh, for example, in this time we are going to buy uh, any product, then we are paying currency notes for that. At that time, if they want, if they would like to buy anything, they are giving their animals, their their cattle to the other person and buy that thing. It is somewhat uh, like barter system, but they are exchanging their animals uh, with the other goods. And at that time, if they have very high, uh, very large animals, then they are treated as a very rich people. The same way uh, we have a very high currency and we treat it as rich people. At that time, if they have very high cattle, then uh, they are very rich people. So the animal money is. Uh, Godan or the cattle wealth, which is treated as uh, which is treated as money, it is in the existence of very primitive hunting stage. So this is about the animal money. The same, the second type of money is the commodity money. Commodity money, the grains, we, grains like wheat, rice, etc., are also treated as commodity money. This is known as a commodity. And if I want rice and the other person want wheat, then I exchange my rice, rice with the uh, wheat of the other person. Then it is treated as commodity. Or uh, I uh, I give I exchange my rice with another com another commodity or any other goods or product. Then it is known as commodity money. Various precious uh, precious stone, stones are also treated as commodity money. Shells are also treated as commodity money. So, at all, commodity money are used as a medium of exchange. Any commodity, it can be anything which is used as a medium of exchange, then it is known as commodity money. The, there is various factors, factors which are affected in choosing the commodity. The first factor is the location of the community. If I am living nearer to the sea area, Arabian city, uh, in the sea area, then uh, th there is high availability of fish, cells, etc. So I am treating fish as a commodity. So their community's commodity is fish. So the fish is known as commodity money of that community, of that locality. 
the climatic environment of the region is also affected in choosing the commodity. The same way, cultural and economic standard of society are also treated as a commodity money. If there is a very richer people and they are very fond of uh, various precious stones, etc., so they are exchanging uh, stones, uh, uh, stones for uh, any goods and services. So these all are treated as a commodity money. Commodity money and animal money are not in so much current use because of its very uh, drawbacks. It has various drawbacks and that's why uh, it is not in current use. The drawbacks can be the lack of uniformity and standardization. As we know that if uh, we are considering the, the stones, then uh, there is difference between one stone to the other stone. The same way, it, I just talk about the rice itself. The quality of the two rice are different. And uh, so uh, we don't have uniformity and the standardization of the product. And it is about the whole commodity money. So commodity is different. If I exchanging one commodity, if I exchanging my uh, weight with the stones, then the quality and their value will differ. So uniformity and standardization, it's it lay in these and it is a very high drawback of this both money. Uh, the second topic of this is inefficient store of value. We want to able to store animals or commodity in very high amount. It needs very high space also. And uh, the commod various commodities are also like perishable goods, etc. So if we are stored, then uh, they lose their value. So we want able to store that uh, commodity. and. It is a very high drawback of this. The third drawback of this is lack of easy transferability. It is very inconvenient to transfer uh, animal from one place to the other. The same way commodities are also very bulky. So we uh, won't be able to transfer commodity from one place to other. This is a very uh, high disadvantage of this money. The fourth disadvantage of this is the indivisibility. We can we won't be able to divide uh, divide animal in two parts if I want uh, the sum part of that. So it don't have the divisible. It we can't divisible it. These all are the drawbacks of the animal money and the commodity money, and that's why it is not in current use. The third types of money is the metallic money. Various metals like gold, silver, nickel, nickel bronze, etc., are in are in currently used. It is known as a uh, metallic money. Uh, various coins are made from that, and it is treated as the metallic money. Uh, when if there is a differ in the size, shape, weight, and fineness of that metals, then the value of it is also differs and uh, the value of money is also certified by the state. So, metallic money is uh, also have uh, is it, metallic money is also certified. So, it has a very good value. So, in simple terms, metallic money are those money which uh, which is made uh, which made coins made from the gold, silver, bronze, nickel, etc. There are two types of coins made from the metals. The first one is the standard or full body coins or the second one is the token coins. The first one is the first one is the um, standard or full body coins or the second one st standard or full body coins or the second one is the token coins. Let's understand the standard coins or the full body coins. If the face value of the coin Face value is that value which is uh, which is uh, the main value of that product. Face value of the product coins is equal to the intrinsic value, intrinsic value of the coin. Then it is known as standard or full uh, full body coin. Intrinsic value are those value. For example, if there is a coin of gold and if there is a coin coin of gold and the 
and it is of 25 gram then the value of uh, value of the 25 gram gold is similar to the face value that is the value of that coin is equal then it is known as standard or full uh, full body coin and if face value is not equal to the intrinsic value then it is known as token coin for example uh, we have a less avail uh, less availability of golds and uh, golds and silvers etc so the cheaper metals like bronze etc and we made coins we made coins from bronze etc and uh, their face value is not equal to the intrinsic value of that then it is known as the token coin then it is known as the token coin this is about the types of this is about the type different types of the coins so we understand the metallic money in detail metallic money is also very high in use uh, in the very primitive times uh, it can be it is somewhat used currently but it also has somewhat drawbacks and due to that it is not very highly used in this time the drawbacks of metallic money are the bulkiness it is very bulky uh, we won't be able to uh, we won't able to carry it uh, with us and it is also very unsafe to carry because uh, there is a very high chance of stolen it etc and rapid transactions were not feasible because of its bulkiness and unsafe to carry etc so these all are the drawbacks of the metallic money then the paper money the types the other types of money is a paper money paper money are the money which is made out from the currency we have the 5 rupee notes 10 rupee notes 50 rupee notes 100 rupee notes 1500 etc in india dollar etc are available in the uh, in the us etc these all are the paper money paper money is consist of currency notes and it is issue, issued by the state treasury or the central bank of the country it is very highly used because of its very high advantages uh, in the current uh, it, uh, because of its very high advantages if we are talk about india the one rupee notes are issued by the ministry of finance of the government uh, of india and the other currency apart from the one rupee note which is of a very high denomination that are issued by the rbi we know that currency notes or the paper money are very high in use today why it is very high in use uh, these are the very advantages of the paper money paper money is economical it is very cheaper to produce paper money compared to the metallic money or etc and the metals like gold silver are very uh, scarcely available with us and we won't able to produce a uh, very high amount from that so it also economizes the use of precious and scarce metals because we are using paper money if there is a use of paper money then we can economize this or we can save that precious and scarce metals it is also very cheaper to produce it and uh, it is also very convenient to carry from place to place we can easily carry currency money from one place to the another place so it is very convenient this is a very big advantage of the paper money it is very easy to store compared to the metallic money animal money or commodity money then the supply can easily adjustable paper money is supply can easily adjustable how if there is very less supply or less uh, the less supply of money in the market then uh, as we know it is very cheaper to produce and we can we don't have very scarce resources of it so we can produce uh, paper money very quickly so supply can easily adjustable of it uh, we have a very high advantages of paper money apart from this also it has some of the disadvantages this can be a danger of over issue of note we know uh, we understand that supply can easily adjustable uh, if uh, the supply is very easily uh, adjustable and the government go on issuing notes of currency notes then there can be danger of over issue of notes and that lead to the inflation or the high prices of the goods and services so this is the disadvantages of the paper money 
The second disadvantage is next general acceptability. If the government is not stable and there is very high fluctuation in it, then it, uh, it lacks general acceptability in the market. People won't trust on that. Its durability is less compared to the metallic money, which can uh, which can long very last. Uh, paper money is not like so. Its durability is very less. It can be broken easily and stolen easily. Uh, the other disadvantages of paper money is the circulate in domestic economy. We can have a circulation of uh, currency notes, for example, uh, 10 rupee notes or 1000 rupee notes, uh, that is the currency of India. We can circulate 1000 rupee note in India itself. We can't, uh, we can't circulate it in the another economy or another country. For example, if, uh, if I want to use 1000 rupees in the other country, then I have to convert that into their, uh, their currency and then only I can use that. Uh, use that money. So it can circulate in domestic economy only. This is the very uh, high disadvantage of the paper money. Uh, we know that it has some of the disadvantages but also due to its very high advantages and it is better from the other money, we are using paper money very highly. The next type of money is the credit money or bank money. Credit money or bank money are those money which uh, which is uh, which is use of the bank money. Bank will help to bank uh, currency uh, the same way we have the currency notes or the currency notes or the paper money. So bank is also treated as the money in this era. Uh, uh, in, instead of the instead of uh, paper money, currency notes, we have checks, bearer or account pay checks of bank, and we can use that and made our payments. Or if we would, uh, if we have to accept any money, then we can uh, accept check as a payment, as a uh, accept check, and that can be transferred into our account, and the money can be credited into our account. If we would like to travel uh, along the uh, travel. Then uh, and we do, we would not like to carry very high amount of cash. Then travelers check are also available and we can use that. This is the example of the travelers check of the moneygram. So we use the um, we use travelers check to uh, travelers check and this is the examples of the credit money or the bank money. Bank will help to make our payment and receive our payment. It uh, it uh, it. Uh, creates our receipt, it, uh, it maintains our receipts and credits, debits and credit of our accounts. Uh, credit money, we have the debit card and credit card. Debit card, are, uh, debit card are those card which helps to get money at any time. At, uh, in the night also we can debit our money from the bank. So it is, uh, it is very useful for us. We don't have to, uh, we don't have to uh, carry our cash with us and at the same time if we need our money from bank then at any time we can have uh, that so it is a very uh, very highly useful credit uh, that's why debit card is very useful whereas credit card are those which uh, the bank provides us the facility of the credit uh, money so apart from our money deposited into the account we, we have the excess amount which we can use for the certain period of time. It is available in the current account holders only. Uh, we can use our bank money from the ATM machines or we can uh, swipe our debit or credit card in the shopping mall to buy any goods or, ser goods or services. So this is all about the types of money. And uh, we understand the various types of money and which money is good or which is not. So these all are the attributes of the good money. The good, the attributes of good money are the general acceptability. It should be generally acceptable in the market, in the economy, and in the country. It has a portability. It has uh, attributes of divisibility. It can be divided. We know that money can be divided. Money can be of five rupees, ten rupees, one thousand, etc. So we are able to divide it. It has a very, uh, it should divisibility uh, attributes, then uniformity, durability, stability of value. 
if the value of the money will uh, suddenly increases or decreases that is if they have fluctuating value then uh, it won't have general acceptability in the economy so it should have stability of value and adequacy so this is uh, this is all about